Brooke, Brandy moved down here in Florida to start a new life. They were always laughing, swimming, bowling, always having fun. He grew up with Brooke. They were like brother and sister. 911 emergency. We need to send police. Someone's been murdered. I'm sorry. It was me. Hey. All I remember is standing over top of her and I'm holding a knife in my hand. I don't remember anything that just happened. Something was off about this case. When the police questioned Randy, he was remorseful about what had happened. I definitely felt that he had profound amnesia for the event. And then there was certainly a lack of motive. He's very kind, friendly. There didn't seem to be any logical basis for this crime. I would have walked away saying there's nothing. Had I not asked that last question, have you ever sleepwalked? Breaking news. A killer is using the surprising defense of sleepwalking. As a child, one night, Randy rode his bike to the bar. I knew he was sleepwalking because he didn't speak to me. Certainly, there are sleepwalkers who seem to do very coordinated, scary things. Randy admitted being awake when Brooke got there. Is this what he actually remembers, or is this what he thinks makes sense to him? Randy, who was absolutely in love with Brooke Preston. Brooke was stabbed 25 times. It's almost impossible to wake up a sleepwalker. The alcohol he was something that would make people more apt to sleepwalk. So your life was spiraling out of control. That's correct. She said Randy was naked, and that freaked her out. The question here tonight remains, why? There's a growing concern. We're going to see more and more of these kinds of problems. Potentially anyone can be a sleepwalker. Someone can kill somebody in their sleep under the right circumstances.